Hey everybody, it's Sherry with Cards and More by Sherry in the Supply Garden and here we are for day 8 of my 12 days of Christmas. Today we're going to make another fun little gifty item. We're going to make a little uh, lip balm holder. Um, the, here's a Christmassy version that I've made and here's one I've made in the past and as you can see there's a little chapstick lip balm stuck in there. Um, this is the style that I've made before and here's another one but as you can see sometimes the chapstick falls right out. Okay, While well, it has a pocket in here for it, if you don't cut it just right, um, it'll slide out. So we're going to rectify that by adding in here a little shelf, you can see that there, that is going to hold the bottom of your chapstick. Now this is one that I made that's a little bit different, uh, that's opposite of what we're going to make, but I will include the instructions for this one on my blog, where this one has the pattern paper on the inside. We're going to do it the other way around, where we have the pattern paper on the outside. Okay, so to start with, for your base, you need a piece of cardstock. Let me get my scoreboard here. A uh, piece of cardstock that is five and a half, no, five and three quarters by three and a half. All right? And we're going to score that at two and a half. and three and a quarter. All right? And that's all the scoring you have to do. <clears throat> then what you're going to do on this piece, you're going to measure up and grab a pencil. You're going to we're going to make some cuts in between our score lines in the center here. See my score lines? So what we're going to do is we're going to cut two lines that are a quarter, an uh, inch and a quarter long in the middle here. And it doesn't really matter where you cut them, just sort of in the middle-ish. See how I did this one's done? So we're going to go, and I'm going to use my metal ruler as a straight blade, and I'm working on a craft mat here so I don't cut through anything important. I'm going to line up my ruler. Let me zoom in just a widget for you here. Okay, just using my metal ruler as a straight edge with the beginning here at your first score and just make your straight, make it be a straight, you know, just eyeball it. It's not rocket science. Then we're going to cut an inch and a quarter. Just like that. Okay. Then move down eh, about three quarter, quarters of an inch or so and make another cut that is an inch and a quarter. Okay. Then to make the little spot on the bottom that's going to catch our chapstick from falling out, come up about a half an inch or so and from this in the middle of your two score lines you're gonna make a cut that is about three quarters of an inch long again just eyeball it so go from the middle and we're gonna cut over oops and I went cockeyed that's alright about three quarters of an inch okay and that's gonna be what's gonna hold your uh, chapstick from sliding out so then we can, and you can plainly see I went crooked, but it's all right. Don't, no worries. Okay. So when we fold these, where's my? This is gonna pop in. Okay and then this will pop up at the bottom you have to kind of convince your cardstock it wants to do this let me get it going and I'll show you what we have okay so when we where did my chapstick go here it is when we slide your chapstick in it's going to catch 
on this little edge. See how that holds that? And that's going to prevent that from sliding out the bottom of your holder. Okay? Now, for the front, we're going to apply adhesive and anywhere you want to basically except where you've cut these things because those need to be free to pop to the inside and we're just going to cover it with our patterned paper so what I'm going to do is take my ATG gun I can move this now so I don't get sticky goop on it take my patterned paper and I'm going to go around my edges and use whatever adhesive you're comfortable with I love my ATG gun because it's quick and fast. And I'm going to run some extra lines this way. And just kind of eyeball where I'm not going to get on that uh, center portion. See that? Then just turn that over. Lay it down and center it. You don't have to do any scoring on this piece because we'll just fold it and convince that paper to bend on those score lines. Okay, all right, so then just coax it to bend, and then you don't have to worry about score lines. And we've left the adhesive free on the inside in that center portion so that our little pop outs will pop out. Okay, then on the front, I've taken yet another one of these super cute little images from that paper tray ink set that I'm just in love with, Mr. Penguin here, and matted him on a little piece of green cardstock. Then I'm going to take some red ribbon. Let me go ahead and slide our chapstick in here. See how that holds that? Isn't that spiffy? <laughs> you just want to make sure that you don't cut up too far so that it sticks out the top. All right, That's really the only caveat about that is to not do that. Okay, take some ribbon, and you could stamp something in here, put a message in here. Uh, if you'll notice on this one, I had a little just for you and some other little things. So you can do whatever you want to pretty up the inside. Take some ribbon of your choice. I'm just going to tie a quick knot around this. maybe. Now the reason I'm doing it this way, and I'll show you this other one here in a second, is because my image is rather large and is going to go pretty much right to the edge. In fact, I need to fudge that knot around just a little bit, and this is why I didn't apply adhesive to it. On this one, I used a smaller image, so what I did is I punched a hole through front to back and tied this to be closed with ribbon. But on this one, and I did the same thing here, I just run ribbon through. Okay, whoops, try to get in the camera for y'all. And then I'm going to take my foam dots and apply them to the corners only because then we're going to put that on the front and that's going to straddle your ribbon. Okay? Peel the backing off of those. Oops, sorry, we got barking dogs in the background. Center that on your front. Trim our ribbons just a little bit. Oh, I missed. <laughs> and there you have another cute, fun stocking stick stuffer, teacher gift, co-worker gift, whatever. And again, this is something you can uh, change for each holiday, each occasion, personalize the color, the theme, whatever. And you've got a great little takeaway again. Party gift, what have you. Um, I hope, again, that you have enjoyed our little video today and that you will like and subscribe to my channel. I will put all the ins detailed instructions on my blog of how to make uh, both of these with the paper on the inside or the paper on the outside and then you can choose whichever one you want to make. Be sure to like and subscribe and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye guys!